For my, my name is Fatima Tamimi. I am the National Chair of Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign. Today, on Palestinian Prisoners' Day, we are joining the call from Odamir and other human rights organizations to demand the urgent release of all Palestinian political prisoners from apartheid Israeli jails. This is all the more urgent in light of the rapid global spread of COVID-19 pandemic and the grave threat in enclosed spaces like prisons. As of March this year, Israel holds some 5,000 political prisoners, including more than 180 children, over 40 women, and 430 people entered without charge or trial. Medical negligence is used systematically and deliberately by Israeli prison services, and scores have died in prison as a result. As the occupying power, Israel has the legal obligation to provide proper medical care and protection uh, to our prisoners and all Palestinians under occupation from coronavirus. And failure to do so poses a direct risk to their health and is a violation of their basic human rights. Today, there are around 700 prisoners suffering from serious medical conditions and around 40 suffers from illnesses like cancer. For many of these, the COVID-19 in uh, prisons could be a death sentence. We demand the immediate release of all Palestinian political prisoners, especially the children and those uh, more vulnerable to COVID-19 virus, such as the elderly, the seriously ill, and those with compromised immune systems. Finally, we ask you to take three actions today. First, be sure to watch the live stream with Sahar Francis, the director of Al-Damir, at 7 p.m. tonight on the Facebook page of the U.S. Palestine Palestinian Community Network. Second, join the Twitter storm after the stream using the hashtag Palestinian Prisoners Day. And finally, sign the Defense of Children International Palestine petition calling uh, for the release of child prisoners on our website www.ipsc.ie. Free all Palestinian political prisoners and free free Palestine.